So apparently your boy recently became a Demon Slayer channel. I think like my, my last six uploads have all just been Demon Slayer related. And this one's gonna be Demon Slayer related too because we got Demon Slayer season two, episode three, Mugen Train arc. You already know the deal at this point. Last episode, we actually went on the Mugen Train. Uh, you know, we got to see Rengoku do some badass stuff. Um, we went to sleep. That was probably the main thing. We all slept and we're dreaming because Enmu's here to fuck some shit up because we're not allowed to be happy in this anime. So this episode, like I said before, is probably just gonna be going through everyone's dreams. It's probably gonna be a little bit emotional if I remember correctly with some of the stuff that's gonna occur uh, in this little segment of the movie. But um, one thing that I gotta talk about before we continue is that apparently the next episode is delayed because like of an election in Japan or something like that. I don't think that has any bearing on the release of the red light district i believe the red light district is still going to air on december 5th it's going to be a one hour premiere but yeah so next week there is going to be no demon slayer episode reaction so we had to wait until next next week so just letting you guys know but yeah i've been having a ton of fun uh re-watching the moving train arc with y'all uh, i've been having fun just making demon slayer videos bro i love this series to death um i appreciate all you guys watching you know the gameplay videos or me just talking about anything dude i really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart but yeah dude um i'm really excited to get into this episode uh, it's gonna be emotional. I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I'm ready. But for the people out there that watch the movie, we know the pain has just begun. But nonetheless, everybody, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It's super easy. It takes like one second. Of course, you guys can always change your mind later. Plus, it really helps the boy out a lot. Want to wait hitting that 200,000 subscribers together. But nonetheless, everybody, let's get it. We are snoozing, man. Yeah, Tanjiro Enmu showing him uh, a reality where all his family's alive. He's just chilling, you know, collecting charcoal like he did before the demons attacked and everything. This opening is so good, man. Yeah, this instant playlist, dude, I'm sorry. Like the visuals and everything. All I'm saying, if they went this hard on an arc that a majority of people have already seen, bro, just imagine how the red light district arcs opening is gonna look like with Aimer. That shit has to go in, plus it's, it's funky and everything. Oh my God, that shit has to slap, I'm sorry. Also, I'm still, trying to keep on the lookout for for changes that they have to uh the mugen train arc i'm really trying to pay attention i'm like okay you know because last episode i'm not gonna lie like i didn't really notice anything differently but a lot of people said there was different scenes so i'm like okay i don't know if we're watching the same thing right now because i didn't see anything but so i'm gonna try to pay a little bit more attention to this uh to see if i can point anything out episode three should have been i like the name of the episode oh it's a Nitsu's dream okay hold on hold on i know what happened i know, I know what that boy's a Nitsu dreaming about already all we gotta have that makes a Nitsu happy is nezuko and peaches bro that's all you need i forgot we got to hear her talk dude i remember seeing this in the theater i was like oh shit wait she's actually talking i forgot she has a voice this is so wholesome man bro honestly shit i'm rooting for my boys in Nitsu. That man is whipped for Nezuko, I swear to God. That man is fucking whipped. Oh my God, Inosuke's dream. I swear, Inosuke must have done like 10 lines of cocaine before going on the Mugen train to have a dream like this. If this is his ideal scenario, his ideal reality right now. This boy Inosuke, man. I love him, bro. I love this dude. I love Zenitsu too. All right, is that all the happiness out the way? All right, cool. Sadness time. I'm ready. So far, everything's the same, yes? You couldn't really hear what Rengoku was saying. And then the dad's like, yeah, like, who who asked, bro? Who asked? This really shocked me, too, because everything has been kind of bliss so far in the dream. But Rengoku's dream was like, it was kind of like a little bit of a, a sideways hit because his dad was like, dude, who gives a fuck that you're becoming a Hashira? It's worthless. So I'm like, this is his ideal scenario, you know? It's kind of strange. Yo, you know what I also noticed? we Since we saw the first episode and we saw that his dad in a past life or like in a past event in his life saved the old lady before remember we saw that in the first episode and then like rengoku was kind of like kind of mimicking exactly what his father did uh, in terms of his like sword style yo see seeing that first episode gave way more insight right now it's a little bit more shocking you're like damn like why is the dad like this right now you know, you're like, damn, dude, like, he used to be so valiant saving people. And I was like, dude, who cares if you're a Hashira? To his own son? I just think that that first episode was really important to establishing a lot of building blocks in terms of character development and, you know, foreshadowing to go on later in this arc. Damn, bro. Dude, how can you not love this man Rengoku, bruh? Ideal big brother, ideal mentor, overall nice guy. 
Valiant. Oh, it's just like he's literally like the perfect character. Like I'm sorry, dude. Like in in terms of like likability. Okay, yeah, she, she got to find the uh, the core. You're telling me the only thing we need to tear through the reality of a dream is an ice pick and moo. Yeah, I'll still never get over the visuals, man. I don't know how they do it, bro. Like this looks amazing. Like the way that they blend like CGI and 2D stuff, like it just looks so good. See that man, that man Rengoku's spider sense is tingling. He's like, what the fuck? He's like, I sense it. He's like, he's like, I sense a disturbance in the force right now. Like, what the hell is going on? Woo! <laughs> King Ka Bitch, why are you going catch this a vibe check? Yo, then as soon as Rengoku did that shit, I knew that that man Rengoku was really about that life. How you gonna be asleep and still find the, the strength somewhere to choke this bitch out? That man is quite literally too strong to die. He is just too determined to die, man. Subconsciously, he's still trying to protect himself. That shit is the hardest thing ever. He, re he really caught her ass with a vibe check, bitch. Hey, okay, they're doing a little, little foreshadowing with the, uh, wow. Oh, they're actually doing like a ton of foreshadowing for the next little part right here. With that, with the eye catcher. Ah, uh, I remember he said that in the theater. I was like, I was like, wait, hold on. What did he say? Dude, this part is so mind bending. It's so mi like, it's so mind fucky. He said, Nezuko, I'm like, I'm like, oh, he's starting to remember or he's, he's starting to, you know, at least, you know, get a glimmer of actual reality. He said, hold on. Wait, broad daylight. Wait, why am I thinking about that? She ain't no demon, right? Oh, this part's really cool. He's really going to say, wake up, wake up. Wake up, wake up. Bro, this part is so cool. Tatakae! Every time I hear Tatakae, I can't think of any other anime character but Eren, I swear. I swear, just once you watch Attack on Titan, Tatakae, Tatakae just belongs to Eren, I swear. Ezuko Karagum saved the day. I love how. <laughs> Yo, I love how Nezuko literally, legitimately is watching Rengoku strangle the life. And now keep in mind, ne I mean, I don't know if Nezuko knows that she's a demon. She probably does. There's probably like some senses with demons and whatnot, right? Nezuko is literally watching Rengoku strangle the life out of this poor girl. <laughs> and she's just like, what the fuck is Zenitsu doing? What what's my brother doing? <laughs> she, she does not give a fuck, I swear. <laughs> goat, goat status right there. I love how they keep the, like the, I guess like the calluses and like the, the markings on Tanjiro's hands to let him know that he's working hard. And Nezuko, why did you ever think it was a good idea to headbutt your brother like this? On God, why did you ever think that would have been a good idea? That part was just goofy, I swear. The visuals though for this, when Tanjiro was like, yo, the power. Yo, that, that shit looks so nice. He's going Super Saiyan 2. You ain't my real family. Sorry. This is probably like top five maybe moments in the movie coming up. Or like this, this little segment right here, top five. Bro, I remember when Nezuko appeared right here, legitimately everyone in the movie like gasped. Like everyone was like, no, that shit was crazy. Cause I believe this is the first time in like a while that, that Tanjiro is hearing his sister talk with like, and she's not like a demon or anything. And plus this is Tanjiro when he's regained more of his senses. So he's definitely a lot more sensitive to this stuff right now. Because it's called Drip, Mom. Sorry, you wouldn't get it. They really had to play the the Kamado no Uta song here. Masterpiece, bro, I swear. No, you stay your ass there. I know what you do, bro. You're like the last one on the nerve right now. Bro, I told you to stay your ass there, man. Now just don't look back. Don't look back. Just do this. Don't look back. We can't even turn our head no more. This little segment, too, really proves that Tanjiro is like about that shit. I mean, I get that. This family right now is fabricated, but like, imagine, man, like you, you're presented with a world that everything that you want is in it. All your dreams and hopes. A lot of people would fold. Me? I'm gonna keep it real. Depends. Shit. A lot of people would, they would just want to stay there. That's not even like the hardest thing that Tanjiro did yet. That's coming up. When you see Tanjiro's core, I love how it's like very beautiful and like surreal and like the the demon saying right now like it's very calming and warm it goes to show that tanjiro is still at heart even if he's killing demons and he wants to massacre them all 
he's still gonna be a nice guy like that man has a that's a pure pure soul i think that's kind of what i love with tanjo's character is that he's kind of like a very good mix of like aggressiveness but also having that tame side that that emotional side a really good balance of that yo dad ghost dad what's up see when he saw when, when he told tanjiro this he's like yo there's something you must cut i'm thinking like oh fuck what i'm thinking right now i'm like dude he got to go back and and cut down his family his fake family to break the illusion he has to cut them down i was like yo that's gonna be crazy but turns out I was fucking wrong. Bro, he said, what if this dream has an effect on reality? Imagine how much resolve it's yeah. gonna take to do this. Yeah. The only yeah. thing he has to yeah. cut yeah. down is himself. That's when I knew that Tanjiro is a G. Bro, the iconic. I'm like, dude, bro. Ah, yo, that shit is so insane. It ended there. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> For the people that haven't seen the Moogie Train movie, that shit would have been a cliffhanger and a half. I swear. Damn, for real though? They really ended there. That's crazy. That's crazy. I'm sorry. That yo, that's like one of like the most intense moments in the whole movie, I swear. That shit was insane when I saw that. Yo, I can't believe they ended there. Yo, they wrong for that uh, little cliffhanger. I was looking to show this cute little like preview thing right here after Tanjo literally just cut his own neck. That's cool that we get to uh, hear his dad talk though. Next episode, ep next episode four. That was weird how they label it. It's, it's next. Okay, next episode four, insult. Okay, so the next episode is called insult. Intrigue, oh, I know what happens. I remember insult. I'm not gonna say anything because we're gonna wait until the next episode, but ah. I remember why the next episode is called Insult. But yo, this was a really good episode. It had some of the most like emotional and intense uh, moments in the movie so far, uh, for sure. It'd be episode four, five, six, seven. So there's seven, seven. There's four more parts to Mugen Train, and then episode eight will be the Red Light District arc. But we're we're getting to like some of the like the really hype moments. I feel like next episode is where like this shit is gonna go like zero to a hundred like really quickly so hey really excited to continue the moon chain arc along with you guys uh remember it's not next week it gotta be like it's it's the next next week because of, de of the delay but uh yeah man uh demon slayer <laughs> that's seven videos straight on the channel about demon slayer man uh honestly this the series is amazing don't worry guys i'm gonna be making more content on different series on different stuff don't worry but hey man Demon Slayer, definitely gonna still have a special place in my heart. I've just been enjoying the Demon Slayer world as of late. So uh, yeah, I uh, hope you guys don't mind the Demon Slayer spam. But uh, yeah, everybody, um, that was it for Demon Slayer season two, episode three, or Mugen Train Arc, whatever the hell you wanna call it. I'm calling it season two because it's technically the continuation. So, you know, it is what it is. But uh, yeah, leave in the comments down below. Let me know what you guys thought of this segment of the Mugen Train Arc. Uh, what do you guys think of this episode? I thought it was really dope. Like I said, it has some of the most like tense and emotional scenes so far uh, from the movie. Um, but yeah, uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, guys. It really helps the boy out a lot. We're on our way to hitting that 200,000 subscribers together. Uh, but nonetheless, it's been your boy, guys, and I'm out. Peace.